Today we will be learning about transitional words and phrases. These unique words help add flow to writing. Let's begin. What is a transition? Think of a transition as a bridge that allows a reader to get from point A to point B in writing. Transitions serve several purposes. They help the writer carry over a thought from one sentence to another, from one idea to another, or from one paragraph to another with words or phrases. It also guides the reader to interpret ideas the way the author intends. Good writers consider how a reader will progress through the writing by considering sturdy transitional words and phrases. Transitions link sentences and paragraphs together smoothly so that there are no abrupt jumps or breaks between ideas. Where can I find transitions in writing? Transitional words and phrases may be placed at the beginning of paragraphs to help transition from paragraph to paragraph, inside paragraphs to help transition from one supporting detail to another, or inside paragraphs to help elaborate upon supporting. But be careful, not all transitional phrases are equal. Transitional phrases and words are not one size fits all. Different transitional phrases and terms belong in specific areas of writing and serve distinct There are several types of transitional devices. Each leads your reader to make certain connections or assumptions about the areas you're connecting. Some lead the reader forward to build on an idea or thought. Others make a reader compare or draw conclusions from preceding thoughts. A transition can be a single word, a phrase, a sentence, or an entire paragraph. All function the same way. A transition either directly summarizes the content of a preceding sentence, section, etc., or it helps the reader anticipate or comprehend new information that a writer is about to present. Where can you find transitions? They can be between sections. In longer works, it may be necessary to include transitional paragraphs that summarize for the reader what was just covered and specify how it connects to what is going to be covered next. Or, transitions can be found between paragraphs. If a writer has done a good job of arranging paragraphs so that the content of one leads logically to the next, the transition will highlight a relationship that already exists. Let's review examples of transitions. Some transitions are used to add information. These may include in addition, additionally, in fact, or moreover. The game is a television show that details relationships of friends who are all involved in football. Furthermore, it shows how relationships are often complicated. The transition, furthermore, tells the reader that there is more information to come. Other transitions indicate examples are to follow, such as for example or for instance. If these words are read, it signals to the reader an important example is coming up next. There are transitions to show a cause and effect relationship. Think of this example. Since Danny has severe allergies, then we never eat peanut butter cookies. The transitions, since, and then, show the cause-effect relationship. There are also transitions to compare and contrast, such as likewise or however. These words cue the reader that similarities or differences are soon to follow. Now that you've learned about transitions, please return to the module and complete your less practice activities.